As someone who has never been an iPhone person, I would hear for years and years people use the phrase airdrop it to me. Hey, just airdrop that to me or airdrop it over here, airdrop it over there. And I never really thought much about it. It seemed like a convenient feature, but it wasn't something that I really thought about a whole lot if I wanted to put a file that was on my Android phone onto another device, another Android device, or a computer. I had other ways to do it. They weren't quite as convenient maybe as AirDrop, but it wasn't something that I spent a lot of time thinking about. That is until Google started rolling out something called Nearby Share, which is not nearly as catchy of a name, but is effectively the exact same thing as AirDrop. And once that happened, and once I actually began giving it a shot, in particular after they released an app for Windows you can install and then your Windows PC becomes a nearby shared target allowing you to very, very quickly throw a file to your computer. Once that happened, I really gave it a fair shot. I very quickly realized how convenient this was and, you know, by proxy, how convenient AirDrop must be for all the iPhone people out there that have their Mac computer and their iPad and their iPhone just to be able to AirDrop files back and forth. Very, very convenient. Very, very cool stuff. Personally, I use Android phones to shoot all of my B-roll that you might see, you know, facing down at a phone or whatever it might be. And then I will simply use something like that nearby share to throw that video file to my computer, bring it into my timeline and edit from there. It's extremely quick and extremely simple. Never have to plug anything in. It is awesome. If you haven't tried it yet, you should definitely give it a shot. And the good news is Nearby Share appears to be getting more work being done. Not only have they released this application for Windows, not only does it apparently work on Chrome OS as well, it is also being improved directly on your Android device. Let's take a look here. At a tweet, once again, I feel like all I'm doing lately is just relaying news and information from Michelle here. This guy's just all over everything right now. This tweet shows that there is, like I said, some work being done. Something that is rolling out, apparently. People in these comments are saying this has started happening for them as well. If we scroll down, I'll, I'll let you see exactly what we mean. In that sharing menu... We're not just seeing the option for nearby share. We're actually seeing the specific targets for nearby share popping up automatically. So before you would have to click on nearby share, it changes to that screen and then it shows your targets and then you select one and it sends it. This is much more like the implementation of Samsung's thing. What is it called? Quick share, I think, or something like that. Very similar to quick share. And apparently this is kind of what uh, AirDrop looks like for iOS. Apparently these, these targets just appear right there and off you go. You don't have to jump into a secondary screen in order to see these targets. Now this may not seem like a big change, but it is removing an extra layer, an unnecessary layer perhaps from your sharing menu. Personally, I still think that this sharing screen could probably use a little bit of work as well. It is often kind of cluttered and there's things in there that I don't necessarily want to be in there. Like it would be cool if maybe nearby share targets were up top and then maybe below that were apps that you could manually choose to pin. Put a little uh, pencil icon up here. Let me click on that and pin the apps I want to have pop up on that second line. And then maybe there's like a button that has like an app drawer basically. And it will show you the rest of them or something like that. Because nine times out of 10, the only thing I'm using are like the first two, which is normally CX File Explorer, which is another way I get files to the computer and then the nearby share icon. I don't really use the other ones and I'd like to be able to just say, go away. I don't even need to have you there. You're just clutter. But it still is good to see improvements like this coming to nearby share. So I would love to hear from you guys. Have you seen this change happening? Number one, number two, are you using nearby share? Are you aware of it? Is it something that maybe you're going to try now? Talk about that in the comments down below. Another big shout out to Michelle, who just, again, absolutely crushing on this type of reporting. I have a video on the nearby share application for Windows. I'll drop that in the link uh, in the description as well, in case you want to check that out. It is definitely worth trying. All that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.